Hi, I'm Chad Wunderlich with Viking Pump, and this is an internal gear pump, a common type of rotary positive displacement pump. We've already discussed its operation in a previous pump report, but what determines the capacity of this pump? Let's talk about it. You're watching the pump report. The capacity of a rotary positive displacement pump is largely based on two factors. The first is the pump's speed. The capacity is directly proportional to the speed, so doubling the speed doubles the capacity of the pump. The second is the size of the pump. How much flow is delivered per revolution of the gears? This is called a pump's displacement. For this particular size, its displacement is 0 0.00036 gallons per revolution, or about a quarter teaspoon of liquid per revolution of the shaft. For this particular pump, it would take nearly 3,000 revolutions of the gears just to fill a one gallon jug. This display shows a variety of idler sizes used in Viking internal gear pumps. As a reminder, the idler is the driven gear inside an internal gear pump. This pump uses this idler, the smallest size available from Viking Pump. Small sizes like this deliver low flows and are popular in applications like dosing and metering. So large pumps like these deliver large capacities and are popular for applications like unloading trucks, rail cars, and barges. So as you can imagine, a pump for a gear like this is huge. This particular pump has a displacement of over four gallons per every revolution. This means that every time the shafts turn over, four gallons is delivered. And running from the motor and reducer at 250 RPM, this pump delivers over a thousand gallons per minute. So knowing a pump's speed, and its displacement is critical to knowing the capacity that pump delivers. That way you'll know you have the right pump for your application. To learn more about internal gear pumps or to view other pump reports, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.